Welcome to Lines to Go installation videos. Today we will be removing and installing brake lines on a 2009 Toyota Tundra using Lines to Go part number BLT 108 SS. While this particular installation is being performed on a 2009 Tundra, this set of lines will also fit the following year, make, and models as shown on your screen now. Lines to go lines are made using original equipment end forms and fittings that are CNC bent for an easy and precise installation. We have also upgraded to stainless steel braided Teflon hoses for rust protection and to prevent surface fouling. These have an unlimited shelf life and anti-static PTFE liner. This set of lines to go lines are made using 304L stainless steel for rust resistance that exceeds OEM standards. Tech tip. Disconnect the battery before working on a vehicle to reduce the risk of shorting out the battery on tools or lines. Lines to go lines are made with a sectional design for easier installation. We also use color coded unions on our sectioned lines. Just match the colors at the connections. Tools required 10mm, 12mm, and 21mm sockets and ratchet, 8mm, 10mm, 12mm, and 13mm wrenches pliers and cutting pliers, flat blade screwdriver, drain pan, jack and jack stands. The level of difficulty for this installation is considered to be easy. Start by disconnecting the battery using a 12 mm socket. Using a 12 mm wrench, remove both threaded fittings from the master cylinder. Remove the threaded fittings for the primary and secondary lines from the ABS module using a 12 mm wrench and remove the lines from the vehicle. Remove the remaining fittings from the ABS module using a 10 mm wrench. Using a flat blade screwdriver, remove the lines from the plastic bracket at the ABS module. Raise and support the vehicle and remove all four wheels using a 21 mm socket. Using a flat blade screwdriver, remove the plastic push clips that secure the rubber splash guard inside of the front wheel wells. If your brake lines are rusty at the fittings, it may be easier to cut the line at the fitting using a pair of cutting pliers and then remove the fitting separately. Remove the top threaded fitting inside of the left front wheel well using a 12 mm wrench. Remove the line from the vehicle. Using a pair of pliers, remove the spring clamp securing the vacuum hose to the brake booster and disconnect the hose. Using a 10 mm socket or wrench, remove the two nuts that secure the metal bracket at the firewall and reposition the bracket. Remove the lines from the plastic clips along the firewall.
At the passenger side of the firewall, remove the electrical connector by depressing the clip and lifting up on the plastic locking arm. Next, use a 12mm wrench to remove the top threaded fitting located inside of the right front wheel well. Remove the right front line from the vehicle. Using a 10mm wrench, remove the short line between the flex hose and the union inside of the right front wheel well. Next, remove the short line between the flex hose and the caliper using a 10mm wrench. Repeat this process to remove the two remaining lines on the left hand side of the vehicle. At the passenger side of the frame, use a 10mm wrench to remove the four threaded fittings from the union mounted on the frame. Remove the rear lines from the plastic clip inside of the passenger side wheel well. Remove both front sections of the rear lines from the vehicle. Above the rear axle use a 10mm wrench to remove both lines from the rear flex hoses. Remove the rear lines from the plastic clips along the frame. Remove the rear section of the rear lines from the vehicle. It may be easier to cut the lines in the middle using a pair of cutting pliers before removal. Use a 12mm socket to remove the four bolts that secure the metal brackets at the rear axle and remove the brackets from the lines. Use a 10mm wrench to remove the threaded fittings at the center of the axle. Use a 10mm wrench to remove the threaded fittings from the left and right rear flex hoses. Remove both rear axle lines from the vehicle. To begin the installation of your new lines to go brake lines, start by installing the line labeled 03A into position and start the fitting into the rear horizontal port in the ABS module. Start the threaded fitting at the other end of the line into the top of the union inside of the left front wheel well and tighten both fittings using a 10mm wrench. Inside of the left front wheel well, install the line labeled 03B between the union and the flex hose and tighten using a 10mm wrench. Next, install the line labeled 03C between the left front flex hose and the caliper. Tighten the fittings using a 10mm wrench. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 04A into position and start the threaded fitting into the rearward center port on the ABS module and tighten using a 10mm wrench. Next, install the line labeled 04B into position and start the threaded union with line 04A, noting the lines to go color coded connections. Start the fitting at the bottom of the line into the top of the union inside of the right front wheel well and tighten using a 10mm wrench. Tighten the union using a 10mm and a 13mm wrench.
Next, at the right front wheel well, install the line labeled 04C between the union and the flex hose and tighten using a 10 mm wrench. Next, install the line labeled 04D between the right front flex hose and the caliper and tighten using a 10 mm wrench. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 05A into position and start the threaded fitting into the forward horizontal fitting on the ABS module and tighten using a 10 mm wrench. Next, install the line labeled 05B into position and start the threaded fitting into the front horizontal port in the union mounted to the frame. Inside of the right front wheel well, connect the union noting the lines to go color coded connections and tighten using a 10 mm and a 13 mm wrench. Use a 10 mm wrench to tighten the fitting at the union on the frame. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 06A into position. Start the threaded fitting into the forward center port on top of the ABS module and tighten using a 10 mm wrench. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 06B into position and start the threaded fitting into the rear horizontal port in the union on the frame. Inside of the right front wheel well, connect the union noting the lines to go color coded connections and tighten using a 10 mm and a 13 mm wrench. Use a 10 mm wrench to tighten the fitting at the union on the frame. Secure the front lines into the plastic clips. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 05C into position and start the threaded fitting into the downward facing port on the union on the frame. Next, install the line labeled 05D into position. Start the threaded union noting the lines to go color coded connection. Start the other fitting into the left flex hose above the rear axle and tighten using a 10 mm wrench along with the fitting in the union mounted to the frame. Tighten the union using a 10 mm and a 13 mm wrench. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 06C into position. Start the threaded fitting into the rearward facing port on the union mounted on the frame. Next, install the line labeled 06D into position. Start the threaded union noting the lines to go color coded connection. Start the rear fitting into the right flex hose above the rear axle and tighten using a 10 mm wrench. Tighten the union using a 10 mm and a 13 mm wrench. Tighten the fitting in the union mounted to the frame using a 10 mm wrench. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 05E into position and start the threaded fittings into the left flex hose located above the rear axle and the left rear flex hose going to the caliper. Tighten both fittings using a 10 mm wrench. Next, install the line labeled 06E into position. Start the threaded fittings into the right flex hose above the rear axle and the right rear flex hose going to the caliper. Tighten both fittings using a 10 mm wrench. Replace the metal brackets that were removed from the old axle lines and secure them using a 12 mm socket.
Next, install the lines to go line labeled 01 into position. Start the threaded fittings into the rear port in the master cylinder and also into the rear port on top of the ABS module. Tighten both fittings using a 13 mm wrench. Next, install the lines to go line labeled 02 into position and start the threaded fitting into the front port on the master cylinder and also into the front port on top of the ABS module. Tighten both fittings using a 13 mm wrench. Replace the electrical connector at the firewall and secure it using the plastic lever. Replace the metal bracket at the firewall and secure it using a 10mm socket or wrench. Next, replace the vacuum hose onto the brake booster and secure the spring clamp using a pair of pliers. Replace the rubber splash guard inside of both front wheel wells and secure them using the plastic push clips. Bleed all four wheels using an 8mm wrench, making sure to keep the master cylinder reservoir topped up with fluid. Replace all four wheels and torque to the manufacturer's specification using a 21mm socket. Reconnect the battery using a 12mm socket. This concludes the installation of stainless steel brake lines on a 2009 Toyota Tundra using lines to go part number BLT-108-SS. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase the lines you saw today, please call us at 1-855-781-5992, email us at info at linestogo.com, or check out our website link below. And don't forget to take advantage of our free two-day shipping. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below and we will see you on our next video.